Hey everybody, my name is Keith Simple. Uh, it's the day after the voice finale and uh, it's the morning after the voice finale. <laughs> so uh, my throat might sound a bit rough. And um, yeah, it was a, an amazing night. We, you know, Jordan won and rightly so. He is the best voice in the show. And um, we had a great after party. We got to hang with everybody and it was just an all in all awesome day. Well, when I was uh, eliminated, I went straight home and got ready to, um, you know, get my music ready to release. So I went and I recorded my new EP, I did music video, I, I did all the press and promo materials. And now basically I'm just going to start promoting it heavily between now and the release, which will probably be middle of January, I'm guessing, January 16th to 20th, something along that line. So it's very exciting right now. I'm just releasing the music independently at this point. The whole point is to try and, um, you know, have the product ready to then um, shop to the labels, you know, so you actually have it all done for them and they don't have to do any of the prep because the, the recording and all the songs and all, they're up, to, they're up to standard that anyone would do if I did it with them anyway. So it kind of, diff, you know, saves a few steps. Yeah, the songs that we did on the show were released to iTunes, yeah, but they're all obviously covers, so... You know, it's. Uh, I mean, that's cool. But I, you know, I'm determined now to see what my name looks like when it's in the top 200 of a chart on iTunes. You know, and maybe maybe now with the notoriety of the show, when I if I can build it up enough and and you know and things go well, people will you know will buy it and and that'll get me into the the charts. I mean, it's. I sort of trying to do all the work myself and then hope that somebody sees how much you know how much drive I have and they'll pick me up. So exciting. Well, you're right. I mean, Adam and, uh, and and Blake and a few people have said that, you know, they want to make sure the record companies are, um, you know, actually doing something for the artists afterwards. And, I, and that's why I'm kind of glad that I, like, I didn't make it into the top four, but I made it very far. Because now I've got all this exposure, but I can, I'll be, I'll be able to make my own path and then hopefully still have the interest there with all the notoriety and the quality of the product that I've made, that they'll be able to, you know, pick me up and actually have somebody that wants to, you know, invest in me. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You need people behind you that actually want to um, see you be successful. I mean, these guys, I feel like the record company with The Voice are basically um, already thinking about season 10. You, you know, I mean, it seems like there's that mentality, and I can't blame them because it's a TV show, and that's what they—that's what they do. They aren't the 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 people who worked with the artists are all going to go back to season ten, and then it would be a whole new bunch of people working with the artists that don't know them. You, you see what I'm saying? So the the people who really believe in that person are all gone and back to season ten, and it's all going to be people that don't really you know, don't really believe in him or don't really know him or just kind of like, oh, is this the guy who won? Okay, right, well, we'll work with him. Whereas you would want a, peop a, you know, a circle of people around you that just, you know, they believe in your talent, they believe in your hard work, they believe that you have to make it and they're going to do everything in their power to make that happen. And that's what I'm surrounding myself with at the moment are people who really believe in me and I'm seeing the results already. So it's, it's, it's very exciting for me. Well, yeah, because I'm doing this independently, um, it, it's actually better, really, because because everybody is happy to help you um, at this point. You know, like the the, the the coaches even. You know, I spoke to Blake about how I'm doing um, this. You know, I'm do, I'm trying to pioneer this new sound, which is basically like uh, it's basically rock pop, but it's got a country twist, and it and it's. It, and it, or, or it's country with a rock twist. I mean, it's, it, it, I'm trying to find a name for it because I don't hear anybody else doing it, and I, I and I'm really excited about it because, you know, it's not it's not rock and it's not country, so I can't call it either. Um, and I talked to Blake about how you know I want to like let him hear it, and of course have him pass it on to anybody he thinks it might work with, and or even himself. Maybe he'll be interested because I think he'll be extremely shocked when he hears what. I'm actually coming out with because he, he wouldn't have expected it because they showed me as kind of like nothing but this kind of 80s rocker guy, which is not what I am. I mean, it's what I sing when I want to show off, but, you know, because that's what, I mean, it, you know, 80s rock music's hard to sing, but um, it's not what I want to do musically originally. So, you know, getting access to people like Blake, um, you know, he, he asked me to send him, send me his material ASAP because he was excited to hear that that was the road I wanted to go down and, um, I'm going to try my best to, you know, um, you know, if I need help from anybody, they're they're only a call away, 
and that's what's really cool. Like, you know, I can call the producer, I can call, um, you know, Bill at the studios that we recorded at. I can call anybody, and they'll they'll listen to my call, and they'll they'll be willing to help if they have a number or if they know what next path I should go down when I ask them a question. So, I'm I'm in pretty pretty good company at the moment. Well, I'm in LA for a couple of days. We've got an awesome show uh, at um, the Revamp Studios in Tustin. That's going to be really exciting. That's tomorrow. Um, and I'm excited because I get to sing with Victor. We've wanted to do organize a show for a while. My roommate, Victor Corrali, he's, you know, he's been my roommate since the very start. I mean, this whole thing's been going on since March. And we've been together you know, in the same room for like three and a half months. So we either would have ended up loving each other or hating each other. And luckily it was the first one. Um, we've really bonded and become like basically best friends. And um, I, I, you know, as soon as we, we went off the show, both in top 20, we said like, we want to do some some shows together um so i'll be doing the show um then i'll be heading back home um and i'm i purposely have a light week heading up to christmas as far as shows go so i can enjoy my family time and then it's basically show on the 26th big new year's eve show uh and then you know back to shows but all that time i'll be promoting you know the, the release of the stuff and at the, at the end of january um now, I'm going to have a music video coming out soon, probably within a week, which will be the, you know, the start of the promotion. I'll have a little sneak peek on SoundCloud of the, um, like the songs from the EP, but it won't, you know, it'll just be little snippets to give people a little taster. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I'll just be you know, promoting the fact that it's coming out. And then on January 20th, I'll release it to iTunes, but I'm only going to release it to iTunes because I, you know, obviously I want to hopefully get a charting position. And also I, I feel like I, I don't want to, you know, just give my music away either. You know, I want to make the most of the fact that people are listening in to see what Keith Simple's going to do. So, um, yeah, look out on January 20th for the, for the iTunes release. And, you know, if you liked me on the show, support me now because this is when it matters coming off the show and really you know trying to make a difference and getting people to listen to the music so if you were ever a fan of me on the show or anything i did take a listen and if you like the music of course buy a copy of the new ep fans can find me by um typing in keith semple anywhere basically it's k-e-i-t-h-s-e-m-p-l-e -E. uh twitter and instagram and facebook uh, i'm doing a lot of periscopes which are fun because people get to see me you know sing live right there in front of you there's no hiding there's no cameras it's just you and a phone you know um I'd say YouTube's a good place to learn about me because it has a lot of my old school stuff right through until today, not not including the voice. You know, it's all my performances. I um, you know, I opened up for Bon Jovi at Soldier Field. I, I've done so many cool things already that I, I want people to see, but they'd have to go to YouTube and look at the backlog of videos to see what I've done so far um, and get a vibe for what Keith Simple is. Because the one thing I'll say is that people did not get to see except for a little snippet was the performer side of me, which is what everybody in Chicago knows me for, is the kind of charismatic frontman guy who, you know, runs about and gets everybody entertained and happy. Um, and I only got to do that for a little while with Manny Cabo on the battle when we got to do Bab O'Reilly by The Who. You know, it was like a it's like a moment where we got to show off how good we are at performers, but nobody has got to see that yet, really. So I'm hoping that people can go back in the YouTube and see all the stuff I've done before, because that's where I'd probably recommend everybody goes. My name is Keith Simple, and you've just been buzzed.